Hello, Chris Parker with Parker Photographic, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. After you complete this video, I guarantee your day will be even better once you discover how to harness the power of Lightroom's AI auto editing feature by allowing it to auto magically edit two or up to 200,000 photos or more in one click. But the problem is the button is hidden from the interface for both Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC, and I'll share where they are for both since it's slightly different for each. Now, when it comes to using the full auto mode in your camera, I'm not a big fan of using it since you're giving creative control over to your camera. And the same could be said about using the auto option when editing. However, this editing tool is a lot more powerful since you're tapping into Adobe's artificial intelligence and machine learning platform, and it will auto magically edit your photo by analyzing it and comparing it to tens of thousands of professionally edited photos to create a beautiful, pleasing image. Now, when it comes to the edit settings, it's only going to target the tones and color except for the white balance. So let's find the hidden button in Lightroom Classic first, and then I'll show you where it is in Lightroom CC. So when you start using the auto feature here in the basic panel, if you're in Lightroom Classic or if you're in Lightroom CC, it's in the light panel. Once you click on that, it's going to automatically edit your photo. And that's okay if you have one or two images, but once you have dozens or hundreds or thousands of images, coming in here and clicking this auto button for each image one at a time is going to be very, very time consuming. So there's a quicker way to do that. And to do that, you're going to hold down your shift key after you click on the first image that you wanna select in your group of photos. And by clicking on the last one, that's going to select all the images in between plus the first and the last one. Now, this isn't the same as syncing your edits from one photo to another, which you can do by clicking on the sync button, and then you can choose your synchronized settings from here. This is different because inside of this panel, we do not have the auto option. So what we have to do is we have to come down to the sync button and click on this little toggle switch right here to activate the auto sync. And now we have our auto sync button, but the problem is that button isn't going to do anything because when you click on it, it's going to deactivate. So what you have to do is you have to come up to your editing panel here and click on auto from here, and then it will magically apply that auto setting to every single image that has been selected. Plus, anytime this auto sync button is still activated, if you come in here and adjust your exposure, it's going to do that for every image that is selected. So if that's not something you wanna do, make sure you click on auto sync here to turn that off. And then you can go in and adjust your images accordingly. All right, to discover more Lightroom Classic editing tips, check out this playlist next. And for those of you that use Lightroom CC, you're gonna go into your editing panel here and you're gonna click on your auto button up here on your first image. And then you're going to select all the images. Then you're going to right click and select apply auto settings and Lightroom will do its magic. 